you know, in like 10 years, like what do you want like the kids to remember you by? A fun time, like don't, like when you're mad or sad or something, like turn me on when you want to get happy or turn up. I don't never want to make any music where I feel like anybody's down or trying to make anybody sadder. I don't like that type of music. Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching Kids Take Over right now. Vancouver, all the way to LA. That's where we're from, by the way. Vancouver? Yeah, Vancouver, Canada. As far as fuck. It's not that far, actually. It's like uh, on the west coast of Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like right above Seattle. Nah, that's hard. Yeah. I always wanted to go to Canada. Yeah, you've never even been to Toronto before? I never left the country. Dang, ever? Not yet. You have a, a tour, though, coming up, mm -hmm. don't you? And Canada's not on one of the dates? I, I don't know the dates. You don't know the dates? Mm -hmm. oh, shit, yeah. I don't know the cities yet. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Well, you actually but do definitely have- tour, yeah. You have a lot of fans in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have like a, a Discord server. And in it, all the fans always talk about like, yo, I can't wait till Ken comes yeah. to Vancouver. That's nah, so I can't wait to go to Vancouver. Hell yeah. Well, That's gonna be hard. We're, we're chilling here with Ken Carson, bro. I'm gonna let you know, definitely a fan of your music. And um, tell me if, if I'm wrong on the statement, okay? I feel like you have the, the best beats in hip hop right now. The best beats? Yeah. You gotta agree I with mean, that? that's, a, that's a personal. If some people think some people might not listen to, listen to the same things you listen to. They might think otherwise. But if you're listening to what you listen to, then I think so, yeah. yeah. There is this, um, like, obviously, like, my favorite beat of yours is Yale, probably, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say, like, disregarding Yale. Like, you know, um, I think Glock 19, you put that song on. Yeah, right? facts. Even that just sounds like, it sounds like a, like a Zelda, like, gameplay mm -hmm. beat. You know what yeah, saying? somebody told me that. Ever since they told me that, it really hasn't left my mind. Yeah? Uh, uh. Yeah. Do you have like a? Cause I know you've made like you make beats as well, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have like, um, what's the word? Like, do you like contribute to making the beat, or like, do you have any input in like how the beat should sound? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I already like. I usually, I'm usually making beats like on the phone. I'm on the phone with my friends. Stop wearing out of town. Okay, yeah. yeah. So it's like. I might make the melody through my voice, like over the phone. Like how? Like explain that. Like give me an example. Like, I mean, it might sound annoying. Like, like do -do -do, in a, in a, do -do -do, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, and it just go like that. I might put the drums on there afterwards. I've never really heard anyone do, say that before that they do that. I don't think anyone does that. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. hard though. Yeah, well, I don't I mean, think anyone does that. Yeah. Well, since well, since I said you have the the best the best beats, right? Who would you say, like, aside from you, like, other artists you like, who do you think has, like, some... Got a good beat choice? Yeah. Like, creative beats, you know, not just hard beats. Mm. Uh, Pink Panthers. Yeah, he was just showing me her. Yeah. Uh, I heard her TikTok song. She's crazy. Yeah. Pink Panthers, for sure. Gotcha, gotcha. She's crazy. You know what? It would actually be kind of cool. I was just talking about this with him, if you guys actually did a song together. Yeah, yeah. facts. That would be hard as fuck. Yeah. Have you tried, maybe, like, stalking him? Nah, but I might DM her and be like, yo, what's up? Yeah. No, I think you should. I want to say this, right? Like when I look back at like the 2016 SoundCloud wave, right? Like X and, and Juice and all them. Um, I feel like, you know, each person is so iconic and like iconic for each their own thing, right? Like X was like, he preached, you know, Ski Mask was so like lyrical. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you like, you know, in like 10 years, like what do you want like the kids to remember you by? Uh, a fun time, like, don't, like, when you're mad or sad or something, like, turn me on when you want to get happy or turn up. I don't ever want to make any music where I feel like anybody's down or trying to make anybody sadder. I don't like that type of music. Gotcha. Well, to that, you know, for you saying that, I want to ask you this, like, there's a lot of, like, old heads in rap, right? Like, old head fans and... Trust me, I've tried showing them your music, Lancey, all these people, right? And they just don't really get it. Like, they're like, oh no, we need like lyrics. I don't know, what would you say to like those people? I actually have songs where I don't do ad-libs just because people feel like that. So that made you not want to do that? It makes me not like go crazier on the ad-libs, 
Okay. Like I have songs on my project where it's no ad libs at all. Uh huh. No ad libs at all. Like, but like, if you enjoy doing that, I feel like you should just keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy doing it for sure. I have all types of songs. Like, I'm yeah. in the studio every day, all day. I only go live when, like, probably, like, super bored. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, I would just say at the end of the day, man, like, what I tell them is, like, it's minimalistic for a reason, you know? Like, when you're trying to have fun, like you said, you're trying to be happy, you're not looking to, like, have these, like, complex... I mean, I try and be complex. I might have a slower song, but it's still fun. I try and tap into different moods, but like not the sad one. Gotcha. Well, not the heartbreaking. Yeah. Although, although honestly, I could see you making a cool heartbreak album too. Just saying. Yeah, I try. I try and do everything, but it's like I just rock with what works most. Plus, it's like it matters about like what you experience in life too, right? Yeah. Know, if, you, if you went through a heartbreak one day, maybe like 808s and heartbreaks, like Kanye West. Yeah. That, yeah. Was he was going through a heartbreak then? Yeah. I think with like Amber Rose or something. I swear. Yeah. I but, love that album. I did not know that. Yeah, no, he was. Well, I love the way like Opium brands their artists, right? Like you look at any of you guys and you're like, yo, you guys are rock stars, right? So like, who is all in Opium at this point? I mean, it's not all over the place. It's like, it's pretty blatant who's, who's down. That's what we try and do to like, make it easier for you to like, point one out okay that's why I have like white hair it's like you can spot me easily yeah, yeah but that's just how we get down like how often are you like talking to people in there like are they are you just talking to them about like music things or are they actually like your friends at this point uh Cardi's definitely I've been talking I mean me and Cardi got a crazy relationship from a long time ago so it's like we talk about damn near any I can talk to him about damn near anything Destroy Lonely, I've been knowing him for a minute too. Lancey, I met him like last year. Okay. So now I've been knowing him for a minute too. Gotcha. Bino and me, I've been knowing them since I was in like middle school. Yeah. You know what's funny about, about Lancey? So like, I actually didn't even know about you at first. I knew Lancey, right? Mm -hmm. And then I interviewed uh, TM88, okay? And then to TM88, yeah, I was saying- TM88, I knew, man. Shout out to TM88, man. He's your good friend, eh? Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was telling, like, I was telling him about Lancey. He was like, yeah, bro, you know who told me about Lancey? He's like, Ken Carson actually told Yeah, me about I showed him. I'm like, bro, you gotta send him some beats. Yeah? So that's cool. So you're, you're like, telling, like, uh, TM Media about other rappers, yeah? Yeah, I pretty much try and put everybody on a, onto everybody because you don't want to be, like, stuck. Any, if anybody's around me, I try and make sure they up on game on everything. Gotcha. How'd you find out about Lancey then? Because he's from the UK, right? So... Oh, that's, I don't know, I think it was Instagram. Yeah. And then they said, you know, he was in Atlanta, Cardi had him in Atlanta. And I was like, damn, I just see him on Instagram, it's crazy. Yeah, I got you. Same, like, yeah, so you know how there's like artists of the underground and then there's like people like Brawny and stuff all supporting it. There's people on YouTube as well, right? Like, um, you know, creators like helping it out. So like, do you watch any like hip hop YouTubers at all? I'm not gonna lie, when I'm on YouTube, I'm or listening to music, I'm not listening to hip-hop. Oh, really? Yeah. I listen to a lot of um, All American Rejects, Green Day, Blink-182. I be listening to some crazy shit, bro. And I watch a, cra a lot of crazy shit. Like, I'm always watching Rob Zombie movies. Uh, today, other day in the studio, I was watching The Green Room. You ever seen The Green Room? The Green Room. Now, have you guys seen it? The Green Room? You seen The Green Room? Nah, what is it about? Shit's crazy. It's about this rock band, right? They was trying to come up, they was doing some shows, and then they did a show, and fucking, they were, they were leaving the show, they got paid, and the girl left her phone in the room. She walked back in the room, and a female had a knife in her head, oh, and shit. it was like 12 Nazis her. Oh shit, okay, yeah, okay. Crazy. Is it a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. So they ran back inside to like, go get the phone, and like, get the, their friend who was in there. Yeah. So they locked them in there. Y'all should watch the rest. No, nah, sure. I'm a, I, don't spoil it for me, but yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Well, um, what's some other shit you watch on YouTube? Like, there's so many things YouTube, now that- YouTube? Yeah. Uh, YouTube, it's just like, I'm not a big YouTuber. Oh, really? Yeah, I watch movies. 
But you know when you're like late, like up late at night, you're trying to sleep, right? And then you just like binge watch it or whatever. Like there's like food videos, there's like animal videos. Like you ever watch something like that? I'll be watching movies. Okay. I will binge watch one movie. Got you, got you. Like I watch one movie for like days, bro. Yeah. Like analyzing it because I gotta know everything about it. If I like it, I gotta know everything about it. When you were in high school, what was like your favorite like comedy movie? I ain't gonna lie, when I was in high school, we had cable, so I was watching Friday. We had Friday, next Friday, and Friday after next on one disc. Gotcha, gotcha. And I used to let that shit repeat. I know that shit word for word. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen, um, I mean, obviously I feel like you've seen it. You've seen uh, Project X, right? Right. Did that inspire you to make the name of your next album? Yeah. yeah? It's like, that's what I've like named my, that's how I title my albums, like off of how I'm feeling really. The title Teen X was like Teen X to see like a young high feeling. This yeah. is just me just partying, like all over the project. Yeah. Every night in the studio I'm partying, just trying to go up. Right. Man, I party so hard in the studio by myself. By yourself? Oh, I thought you mean with like other people around, you know? Okay, you're just vibing out like, in the studio? By myself, bro. That shit is, I'm literally, Partially crazy. Yeah, I think. I think. I think people need to learn more to hang out with themselves and just like you know, depend on themselves. Yeah, man. I really know myself like crazy. That's why I hang out with myself. For real, for real. Yeah, I, I've been starting to do that more too. And it's honestly, it's really like it's more fun than with other people sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yo, so um, I see everybody like even um, luxury tax. Last time I saw him, he was wearing your merch. Oh uh, yeah. That, oh luxury tax. Yeah, bro. I've been knowing him since I was like. 13. 13? How yeah. so? Because he was in NATO Mafia. Yeah. Right? Him and Travis. Okay. So did you know Travis before that? Too? Yeah. Really? How so? Like, he was just around. Bro, I've just been around everybody for a long time. Gotcha. That's so dope. I didn't know that you knew Travis like that young, bro. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Do you guys still talk nowadays? Or, or nah, I never really. We was never like just always just. I wasn't just in his face, man. Right? Just around or whatever. Yeah, yeah was I got both you. Both around the same places all the time. Mm. In the well, same places all the time. Gotcha. Luxury Tax was wearing your, I think it was your hoodie. Yeah, and, um, Yeah, it's so hard, bro. And uh, I want to ask you, like, do you consider that like merch or like uh, your clothing brand? It's merch. It's definitely merch. I wear. I know so many people with clothing brands that say their clothing brand is so serious. Like, yeah. it's merch, definitely. Like, I feel like merch is more playful. Would you, because I know you're like into high-end fashion and stuff. Yeah, too. I like high-end shit too. Would you but ever I try wanna... and mix my merch in too. Okay, so so that's your merch right now. That's yeah. for your next album. I mean, yeah, this is going to come out next week. My album comes out next Friday. This Friday? Mm -hmm. Let's fucking go, dude. That's Not sick. tomorrow, but... I got you, yeah. Well, would you ever want to make like your own high-end clothing brand though? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. What would that kind of look like? Like, don't get too specific, but It like... would definitely look like this fit I have on right now okay. because I made this... I copy this from Raph Simmons because he makes these shirts like quarter sleeve. It don't go all the way down, but yeah. you're into that like quarter sleeves. Yeah, I like that. And these Raph. Yeah. So I probably would have made some shit like this. Yeah. And then you like you wouldn't make your own shoes like. I don't feel like I would make my own shoes. I thought it's a little too complex in the beginning. Unless I get a collab with the shoes okay. that I like. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, uh, I don't people, think I would make shoes. Yeah. People uh, in our in our comments, right? They always like roast me for my drip. They say like I'm like a two out of ten, right? Damn. But I want to ask you, like, be completely honest, okay? Like, what do you think, bro? I mean, you can insult me, bro. I don't even. I, I mean, it's on your job. Like, it depends on your job. It depends on what you're doing. It depends on the person you are. Like, you don't look to me like you actually give a fuck if they say you were two, two out of ten or not. Right. Do you? I don't really give a fuck, no. That's kind I of know you though. don't. I was right. I just feel but, like you should wear what you're, like, comfortable with. Yeah, you know? like, yeah. facts. Yeah. Like, if, honestly, if I were to wear that, I feel like I just wouldn't feel comfortable, you know? Wait, what I have on right now? Like, I feel like it suits you with the hair and the jewelry. And, like, I don't, I just don't wear that, you know? Like, <laughs> like, come on, like, bro, like, do you see that on me? Not really, right? Yeah. Nah, but like anybody can dye their hair and get jewelry. Yeah, but like I'm just saying, on me that wouldn't look good, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like if you could, if you could add a piece 
to my outfit or whatever, like, to make it slightly better, like, what would it be? Make your fit better? Yeah. Uh, I don't like those pants at all. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Because I don't like, like, joggers. The zippers, you, you mean? Yeah, it's the zipper shit. Yeah, yeah. You think, uh, like, more baggier pants, kind of? Not even. Just, like, a fine fit at the bottom. Okay. You know, it's not a bad fit. It's like, I would be in the house with that shit on. Okay. Hey, man, that's not a bad compliment. I'll, I'll take that today, Definitely. bro. Yeah. Well, I think one of the last things I want to ask you about was uh, Lost Files 2. You just recently put that out, right? So, yeah. was that just, like, you wanted to, like, you just had some tracks that you didn't want to put on your real album, I guess? So, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I got a lot of more Lost Files, if you want to put it like that. I just be trying to put out the ones I don't really care about as much as my babies that's on my album. Like, I feel like my music is my baby. And it's like, that's interesting. those babies are the ones I'm like, I, yeah. I'm a deadbeat to the SoundCloud shit. So. Okay, okay. I did like, like a lot Everybody of be on there. Y'all gotta remember that, like, SoundCloud is cool, but when it's time for you to put out music, like, that's when it matters. I don't feel like the Lost Files really matter like that. That's why I put them out. Okay, but your fans still reacted good to it though. So it's yeah, like, thanks. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not, I didn't say they were bad songs. Okay. I said. Is it compared to the album though? Fuck no. Yeah? I'm, I got chills by my album. Yeah. Like, I don't know if y'all gonna like it or not, but. Are you saying because it's like really like risky stuff you're doing on it? Nah, I don't know. January 23rd. Man, I'm not. I mean, I'm, not I'm January. Sp- I'm high as fuck. <laughs> what, yeah, what month is it right what now? The it's fuck? Uh, July. July, yeah, yeah, yeah. July 23rd. Yeah. I'm going to expect something crazy. July 23rd. So that's going to come up soon. Anything else otherwise, other than that, than the, than the project? The project? Shit, I got a lot of music. Yeah. I got a lot of music. Videos. More clothes. I don't know, my music is turning into some crazy things because of what I listen to and watch. Mm. And y'all gonna see that. Like the movies you watch and shit like that? Yeah, okay. music I listen to. Gotcha. What kind of music? Just curious. I'm not the natural car ride. Like, it's not, a, I'm not listening to the regular shit. Right. I'm excited. I don't even feel comfortable, like, turning my music like if you was to say play some shit i probably wouldn't even feel comfortable really yeah dang that's different bro i haven't heard people say that really to be honest for real because okay. people look at me and be like damn you listen to that yeah like, yeah i listen to this okay but i make some whole other shit that's hard bro i actually respect that a lot to be honest cool well that's pretty much it i just wanted to say like you know they were asking me about my top five artists the other day and i, and I mentioned you and like i really wanted to get this interview done um that's hard top five yeah that's crazy yeah of course bro of course and like i always reference you in our interviews too whenever we're talking to other artists like i always bring you up because genuinely what you're one of my favorite artists bro yeah yeah i really appreciate that i don't feel like i got as much music guys the next person well i'm just saying because like what i respect is that you don't make like a 20 song album you know what i'm saying you make it concise i feel like that's coming though that's what i'm trying to make okay well I think that's what i'm striving to put out I think the good thing is that you didn't do it early in your career, you know? You have to build your way up. Mm-hmm. You don't just throw out a 20-song project. You made a concise body of work, and then are the relapse, you know? Mm-hmm. So I respect that. That's why I think you're one of my favorite artists, bro. You know? I really appreciate that. Of course, bro. Well, yeah, you guys are watching Kids Take Over right now. This is Ken Carson. You guys Carson. watching Kids Take Over right now, and this is Ken Carson, and I'm about to go on. Yo, what's going on, guys? Thanks for watching that video. Ken absolutely obliterated my drip. Like, next time I interview one of these, like, swag, high fashion rappers, I'm just gonna come correct, you know? Like, I think you guys will see a drastic change in my in my clothes. But hey, guys, um, next video is gonna be our Rolling Loud video. If you don't already know, we were media at Rolling Loud, so we're, we're just gonna make, like, a, a whole recap video on it, and it's gonna come in, like, a like couple days, honestly. Not even a week, a couple days. I'm gonna get it to you guys. But press subscribe, the button should be right there or over there. And um, yeah, if you're not subscribed, 
you know, I honestly feel bad for you. So my voice cracked anyway. I'll see you later.